for the first time ever, the Society for Thoracic Surgeons is putting on a symposium on robotic mitral valve repair. Robotic mitral valve surgery has been around for a long time. However, it's maturing in, in, in its techniques and capabilities at a time where innovation is critical to our specialty. Getting this particular group of outstanding surgeons together really for the first time ever to give the attendee everything they need to know to succeed with robotic mitral valve surgery is our primary goal. And we're basically going to give to you the lessons that we've learned over the past 15 years as this procedure has evolved and matured into an outstanding operation. We're going to give the attendee a complete but detailed overview of what it takes to successfully start a program to train the surgeon, to train the team, to prepare the hospital to support the program at every level. We've got hospital administrators coming to speak about the administrative elements. We've got surgeons going into great detail on the technical aspects of the procedure. We've got detailed discussions on how to prepare and train the team to support these very complex procedures. As part of the symposium, we will be having a hands-on sort of wet lab experience with four stations. One station will be focused on circulatory management, advanced circulatory management techniques that are critical to doing endoscopic robotic mitral valve surgery. We're also going to have a station uh, showing you how to perform a robotic mitral valve repair, another station on robotic mitral valve replacement, and a fourth station on the use of simulation in training both yourself as well as team members to do this procedure well. We want to increase the number of successful robotic mitral valve repair programs in the United States in order to help our patients get more minimally invasive procedures. Minimally invasive is something that our patients want and they're demanding it. They, they sit in your office and they ask, can you do this operation minimally invasively? And the answer is, with a robot, you can.